BYD went from a laughing stock to the world leader of the EV market. How did they achieve this? They stormed past Tesla, and now they're having the last laugh. For two years straight, they've beaten Tesla in EV sales hands down. Let's find out how BYD, once a normal battery company, became the biggest EV brand today. Let's start from the beginning. BYD, which stands for Build Your Dreams, began as a tiny company with only 20 workers in 1995. Over time, it grew into a huge player in the electric car industry. It was started by Wang Chuanfu, a chemist in China. At first, it made batteries for mobile phones when smartphones were becoming popular. Now get this, the business really took off by selling batteries to big companies like Motorola and Nokia. Chuan Fu, the CEO of BYD, has already been curious about battery tech when he was a student, but he also had bigger dreams. He wanted to grow his business and turn it into a well-known brand. But how did BYD get into the car business? BYD entered the car industry by purchasing Xi'an Chinchuan Automobile, marking the beginning of BYD Auto. Their first gasoline-powered car, the F3, resembling the Toyota Corolla, was introduced in 2005. However, it was priced much lower than a Corolla. But they didn't stop there. BYD took things to a new level by entering the EV space. How did they do this? It began with the F3DM, the world's initial mass-produced plug-in hybrid car, which unfortunately didn't do well initially. However, a significant turning point came in 2008 when Warren Buffett invested $232 million in BYD, igniting their electric vehicle aspirations. In 2020, BYD unveiled the Blade battery, an LFP lithium iron phosphate battery, which was cheaper compared to other lithium ion batteries utilized in electric vehicles. The Blade battery was not only more compact, but also considered safer, making it a smart choice. This innovative move paid off, as BYD's sporty sedan, the Han, and later models integrated the Blade battery technology. BYD is so much ahead of Tesla in China, it's, it's almost ridiculous. You can understand why some people will sell BYD stock at 50 times earnings. At the current price of BYD stock, little BYD is worth more than the entire Mercedes Corporation. Now things get even more interesting from here. BYD experienced a remarkable increase in electric vehicle sales soaring from nearly 131,000 units in 2020 to a whopping 1.57 million the next year. As stated by experts, the battery constitutes the most expensive component of an electric car, accounting for around 40% of its total cost. BYD's expertise in battery technology not only drives innovation, but also reduces costs significantly, giving them a competitive edge in the electric vehicle market. Following in the footsteps of NIO, BYD is now setting its sights on global expansion, particularly targeting Europe, where they plan to introduce three of their models. It's no coincidence that BYD was chosen as the official EV sponsor for the Euro 2024 football championships. This move could pose another challenge for the German auto industry, which traditionally dominated with Volkswagen. Now here is the thing. BYD is gaining widespread attention and becoming a household name. Their latest offering, the BYD Addo 3, is generating buzz for being eco-friendly and fully electric. With promotions like, come on, begin your wonderful trip with BYD Addo 3, showing its silent operation, BYD can no longer claim to be the biggest car brand you've never heard of. Already a giant in Asia, they're expanding around the globe. But that's not all, there's more. Since introducing their passenger car brand in Europe last October, BYD has expanded into 15 European countries in just 11 months. The success of Chinese EVs like BYD can be attributed in large part to the support and incentives provided by the Chinese government. The EV industry has benefited from significant tax breaks, contributing to BYD's dominance in the domestic market, where they hold a 35% market share compared to Tesla's 7.8%. So what's the biggest difference between BYD and Tesla? In the competition arena, Tesla maintains a distinct style and design appeal, with a growing desire for the Tesla badge and brand. On the other hand, BYD mainly competes on affordability, offering more features for a similar price compared to other car manufacturers. BYD has managed to undercut Tesla by pricing their cars significantly lower, thanks to subsidies. But that's not all. Another factor contributing to their success, 
Unlike Tesla, BYD focused on targeting easier opportunities like fleets and buses, allowing them to manufacture batteries in large numbers. This battery advancement has been crucial to their success, providing them with a significant edge over American and European competitors. Unlike many rivals, BYD produces a substantial portion of their cars internally, helping them avoid additional expenses, delays, and logistical issues that have affected companies like Tesla. How much has this affected BYD? It's given them a competitive advantage. They have a high added value of about 75% of added value in the car that they make themselves. And this brings them to this position they are now. BYD calls this vertical integration. Their vertical integration capability gives them the flexibility to have a faster response to the market trend, as well as better support for brand development and customer services. But that's not all. BYD is proactively securing lithium deposits as part of their strategy to enhance vertical integration. With this successful formula in place, their future appears promising. However, to maintain their leading position, BYD must expand further, which might not be as effortless as their domestic growth. Nonetheless, the increasing demand in Southeast Asia and Australia is beneficial, especially considering BYD's substantial market share in Thailand. Yet Europe presents more challenging obstacles. The world's top uh, EV maker, China's BYD, unveiling what it's calling a pure electric supercar. The model's priced at uh, more than $233,000. Phil LeBeau uh, calls it a conversation starter. Let's bring in Phil. Uh, now, what do you make uh, of this car? Sounds like uh, right up your alley, Phil. Now, here is the thing. The aggressive expansion of the Chinese auto industry into Europe has ruffled some feathers. The EU Commission is looking into imports of Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, which might result in higher tariffs. This investigation stems from worries about unfair competition due to the state subsidies mentioned earlier. However, this action could backfire and negatively impact European car brands as well. German manufacturers are particularly concerned, fearing that if Chinese manufacturers face difficulties in Europe, similar regulatory barriers could be imposed on European companies in China. BYD announced plans to construct a new electric car factory in Hungary, making it the first Chinese company to manufacture cars in Europe. The investigation aims to encourage manufacturers, including BYD, to establish plants within the EU. In response, BYD is exploring the possibility of building a factory in Hungary. Additionally, the EU is taking steps to develop its own battery supply chain, addressing problems like sourcing essential raw materials domestically. Things get even more interesting when we look at the US. They are a very tough nut for BYD to crack. Due to tensions between China and the US, BYD is adopting a more cautious strategy towards entering this market. The geopolitical conflict presents a significant obstacle, and as a result, BYD may be considering building plants in the US after establishing success in Europe. Without establishing manufacturing facilities and a supplier base in the US, Chinese companies, especially BYD, might find it challenging to thrive in the American market. While BYD has been supplying electric buses to the US for quite some time, they haven't ventured into the car market there. This trend seems likely to continue, primarily because the US imposes a 27.5% tariff on automotive imports from China. Additionally, Tesla's anticipated affordable electric vehicle has yet to be released, which could potentially counter the influx of inexpensive EVs from China. There's a growing importance for Tesla to introduce a vehicle in a lower price segment. Fears that we keep talking about, that, that all of us have, uh, all the anxieties that come with an EV, uh, is there enough money around for these startups to last until we get those problems solved in terms of infrastructure and battery life and all that stuff? I now here is the thing, Tesla is actually cooking up something. Rumors suggest that next year, Tesla may introduce a Model 2 as rumored by some. As BYD currently leads the electric car market, there's speculation about a potential new contender. However, it's essential to remember that this competition is more like a marathon than a sprint. While BYD has taken the lead from Tesla, the race is ongoing. Experts predict that BYD and Tesla will remain at the forefront, with Volkswagen also a strong contender. Nevertheless, there seems to be a gap between BYD and Tesla, 
positioning BYD to maintain its lead in the electric car rankings for the foreseeable future. Things get even more interesting. While the rivalry between Tesla and BYD goes on, long-standing car manufacturers with a century of experience are waiting for the perfect moment to strike. While Tesla and BYD battle it out, established German brands like VW appear to be observing from the sidelines, anticipating potential opportunities. It's evident that innovation and pricing are crucial factors if German brands aspire to compete with BYD and Tesla. To succeed, German manufacturers must match or exceed the innovation level of Tesla and Chinese companies. Moreover, they must ensure their offerings are competitively priced, as being more expensive would hinder their ability to compete effectively. Could we witness another Chinese brand rise to prominence and replicate BYD's success? Much like automotive giant Geely? Geely is regarded as a promising global player due to its diverse product portfolio and innovative approach in the electric mobility sector. It's likely that Geely will emerge as a significant competitor in the future automotive market. The rise of new players and the response of legacy brands have sparked an electric vehicle price war across global markets. This competition ultimately benefits consumers and is expected to sustain the surge in EV sales. However, the geopolitical climate presents challenges, making the path forward uncertain. Unless other car manufacturers innovate swiftly, BYD will likely maintain its position at the top. So what do you think? Will BYD keep being at the top of the EV industry? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Also, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.